Well, I have been missing lately on YouTube and I've really missed this community. I wanted to catch you up on what's been going on. You may already know, but I hosted my bespoke design retreat. And this is something I do every year. Women come from all over the country and we learn about the Lord and about interior design, but it's face to face and it's hands on and it's an incredible experience. It's a lot of preparation. I work all year. I hand sewed these linen pillow covers. We embroidered them for one of the workshops. I do thrifting to get ready for a marble workshop that I'll share with you. There's caterers and meetings and preparing for the house sitter. There's shipping, so many things. It's like a destination wedding. We had an Uber coming at 2.30 in the morning to take us to the airport. We packed all night. We flew all day the next day and landed in the Virginia countryside and made our way towards the Mayhurst Estate. It's an incredible house that I'm gonna share with you. I do a whole tour on it, which I'll link for you here, but we always get the garden suite and it's down in the basement of this old, old mansion. It's the perfect cozy little spot. We call it the rabbit burrow because it kind of is tucked away and we can do all of our preparation. I mean, we make this room kind of look like a, a warehouse by the time we have everything all organized for the event. But it's a quiet little corner and we, we arrived at eight o'clock at night. It took us all day to get there and then had to get settled into our room. And then the first thing I always do is I unpack all the packages that arrive <laughs> and all the suitcases because things get a lot of things get broken or things don't arrive and and you know true to historical experience there were 20 different pieces that I needed to reorder or shop for or figure out what we were going to do to get through the event so it was up late the night before. It took five hours to unpack all the packages. And then the next two days are all about shopping and just assembling all the beautiful little things that we're gonna use. So my first stop was the market at Grelin. This is a destination place for sure. If you are visiting or local, they do a lot of community events. They have hiking trails and you pick fruit and greenhouse, they do weddings there. It just like goes on and on and on. They're so, so much that's offered in this place and they helped us with our centerpieces and some of our catering so we went there we went to costco we went to trader joe's world market we had eight different places to go and then once that was all organized we got to work back in the garden suite and i had um, most of my team flown in and we worked on assembling we had 18 different things that we had to assemble so place cards, menus, name tags, gift bags. Everyone got their own little journal to use during class with all the class notes and things. We had so many cool sponsors this year. We had Milieu Magazine and Fusion Mineral Paint and the Iron Orchid Designs and some really excited companies that I'm proud to work with. So that brings us to Monday, and this is the day that the women start arriving. This house is so incredible. It's, in, it's a bed and breakfast, and so you can stay there throughout the year, but we love doing our retreat there. It was built in the mid-1800s. During the Civil War, 18,000 soldiers camped on the grounds here and this house was the headquarters and it was built by President James Madison. I forget which relative, but one of the relatives built this house. It's just absolutely stunning. They rent out a little cottage, which used to be the schoolhouse, and then there's eight other rooms available. But we host our whole retreat here for four days. So all of the women, there's 36 women that came from all over the country and one from Canada, and we are here all day long doing our different events. But the first night is the welcome reception and we're gonna do a big table down that sidewalk there. So the women started arriving in the evening. They got their name tags and their gift bags and we had charcuterie. And then back on the veranda, we did a DIY workshop and it was just a simple crafting project. They made beeswax candles and 
it was, I, I find that it's a really good trick actually when you're doing a social event with people that don't know each other to keep their, just kind of keep their hands busy on a little project in the beginning especially. And so doing a little DIY project was, I felt like a good introduction to Bespoke. And I loved that every single person made the candles. There's been other times where I've set up a DIY project and the crowd just didn't, they just weren't into it, but this crowd is into DIY. <laughs> so I love them already for that. Now some of the girls had come the year before so they knew each other and then other ones were in my behind the scenes group and so they knew each other just virtually online they knew each other and so there were some connections but I was really proud of other women who I think they only knew me from YouTube and that's all they needed and they bought the ticket and they came some of them came solo and were just brave and had this adventure of meeting women who are like-minded and I'm just proud of them. The gal in the lace, the blue lace dress, the blonde lady, that's um, Casey Cashel, and she and her husband own Mayhurst. And they're just incredible people and just so talented and such vision and such love for the people that come to their home and if you get a chance to meet them, I highly recommend that. So then we did a tour of Mayhurst. Of course, the, all the interior designers in us, we just loved seeing all the details of the house. We did our group photo on the steps and then we started our dinner. Now, mind you, the weather report said 0% chance of rain and yet it was getting windy. Our candles blew out four times. I was praying that the Lord would hold off the rain for just one more hour. Just give us one more hour, please. And we did make it through. There were some little sprinkles. But we had our dinner out there on that sidewalk, and it was gorgeous. We put so much love and detail into the decorate the table decorations and just wanted to feel really high-end and just spoil the women there. We had a wedding cake brought in, and of course it was all catered, and we try to make it really extra special. We put a lot of thought into the actual place settings and who's sitting with who and where they're all from and how they might connect so that people feel like they have, you know, at least one friend by the end of the night. And it's just amazing to see women face to face and have such a connection and I there's just really nothing else like it this event bespoke means custom made for you and I just think that's a perfect name the second best thing to bespoke in my mind is my behind the scenes group where we are we get to meet virtually but we still have the same values and priorities in life and so we get to meet and make connections actually all over the world in that group Five years ago, I set out to remedy this issue of not being able to find like-minded women who love the Lord and who love interior design and want to bring it together to really connect and feel empowered with each other's experiences and, and just the relationships that we cultivate there. And I started this group called Behind the Scenes. It's been going now, like I said, for five years. We've got to celebrate with an anniversary very soon. I need to think about what we will do for that. But the doors are open. I don't do this very often. Four times a year is, is what I've done uh, historically. Just inviting other women to join in to the group. We meet once a week online. It is a thriving community where we cover all of my interior design academy. We go through all of that. We declutter our homes together over the course of a year. There is an incredible Bible study and discipleship program that we go through that I've written over the last 20 years and I love teaching it. It is really the next best thing to going to Bespoke. And in addition to all of this, 
you get early bird access to Bespoke, which people love because it gives them a chance to get one of the very limited Mayhurst rooms to stay in for the full event. So if that's something that interests you, please join. We are open through Monday night, that's September 30th, and I will put the link in the description below. I hope to see you there. So after dinner, we all went to bed and got a good night's sleep in our beautiful rooms we were staying in. And the next day, we had a lovely breakfast and started off with what I called the gathering. And this was a new thing that I've added into Bespoke. It's an actual sort of devotional time. We did three different ones this during the week. And we studied the woman at the well. There's a lot you can learn from the woman at the well about God, about how uh, how he is gentle with us and he meets us where we're at, how he knows all that we are and yet still loves us. And he pursues us. He does dramatic things to reach us. I love that the woman at the well was thirsty. She was honest and she was expectant. And if you read the passage really slowly, you pick up on those aspects of her and that's such a good example for us. So after the gathering and an interior design class where I taught what I call my seven layers, how to build a room in seven layers. Then we did, had some breakout sessions where we practiced putting mood boards together. That brought us to our French picnic lunch, and I have been planning this for literally years. So we did cater special salads, and then I had these baskets made in Morocco, and we had French lemonade and chocolate and French bread and special cheese and special salt. And they, everyone got their own cutting board and linen napkin. Then we had another design class where I talked about advanced thrifting after lunch. We finished the day with a hands-on workshop, which I love teaching. Of course, it was pouring, and I felt like it was just the Lord like confirming our theme for the week, this living water theme. So it wasn't terrible, but we did have to move our painting workshop out into the barn and set up out there, which was totally cozy. So I had all these thrifted dishes. I had, oh, I had breadboards. I had lamps, even small lamps, pieces that they could take back on the air, on an airplane. And I taught them how to make them look like Carrera marble. And it's fun because you don't just use a paintbrush. You use different colors of paint. You use seafoam sponges and a turkey feather. And so. All, all these different steps to create this look of, you know, an old, old stone that's been built over time with different layers. It was so fun to see all of the finished products done. 
My husband did a clear coat on them three times the next day, and then at the end of the event, they were all put together on the table for people to take home, and they looked so cool all together. After dinner, we came back for one more event. We had the second part of our gathering time. The Gathering Chapter 2 is what we called it, and we just continued on studying more about the women at the well and just applying it to our own lives. We had a beautiful time of worship and prayed for each other, and it was a, a really special night. I, I felt like we were just so bonded with each other, and I, I just find it rare to be able to meet with women who love Jesus and they love interior design and they love home and they want to grow all of those things. And so there's just such an instant connection at Bespoke and in, in my behind the scenes group as well, but especially of course face to face. So I was blessed by that and the feedback has been overwhelmingly um, positive and similar to my own experience, just the, the sweet connections that that instantly happen at an event like this. It's rare for me to walk into a room and feel like I'm understood, you know, in these areas. So Bespoke is a really powerful event in that way. It's really common to hear from women that come to Bespoke that they are in, oftentimes in just a, a crisis in life or they're at a crossroad and Bespoke is very healing for them and it gives them a new direction when they go home. So then that brings us to Wednesday. This is our shopping day and we have a map of all the best little spots in Virginia and we all just branch out and find the treasures and then we come back at night for what we call show and tell last year we were able to do it around a big bonfire and that was awesome it feels like christmas in a way because you all like bring in all your packages you know and you sit in this big circle and we all take turns sharing up to i think we did up to three of our favorite finds from the day. And you know, there's always a story of why you got it and how much you paid for it and what you're gonna do with it. And we'll give each other advice on, oh, you know, you should you should paint it this color or you should style it this way. And it's just a lot of fun. I feel like I really see the women's personalities on this night. And I would love to do actually this part of the event, I would like to do something similar like earlier on in the week so that so that everyone can hear everyone's names and see everyone's personalities it's really fun and then we finished uh, Thursday Thursday morning was the last of our gathering session and at the end everyone went out to the fountain and they wrote on a white stone a name or a descriptive word that they would say they came as to bespoke and then they flipped it over and they wrote a new name so if maybe they came with fear then they were leaving with faith something like that just as a, a memor memorabilia from the week then we did some more design classes some more design boards um, how to decorate with antiques was the next topic and we did some more group projects putting antiques together and then explaining why we did what we did to the class and I always love seeing the ideas from the women. There's just so much talent in this group. We finished up with sewing circles where we embroidered those pillowcases that I showed you in the beginning. And so that concludes the 2024 Bespoke Design Retreat. It was an amazing time and we're already planning for 2025. So be sure to join the behind the scenes group if you're interested in getting early bird access to those tickets. Otherwise, um, I will see you next week. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.